Hey there. Here's a topic that generates a lot of buzz, especially for people who are getting really aggressive on building some wealth in real estate. I'm going to compare house hacking with renting. So house hacking is basically a general term that talks about getting extra wealth out of the home you live in. And sometimes that means that you buy a duplex and live in half of that and rent the other half out. Today's example, I'm going to talk about buying a home and renting out rooms to roommates, but there's lots of ways to do it. And the math is kind of the same anyway. I want to show the concept. So I'm going to review a video that I've done before about owning versus renting because a lot of the same concepts will apply. Um, I'm going to go through this quickly and if it's too quick for you, go back and watch in the channel the other video called Owning versus Renting and I go into a lot more detail about the impact both short term and long term in owning rather than renting. But real quickly, I'll go over it. This block represents your wealth. It could be any amount, doesn't really matter. We're going to talk about what happens when you rent. Every time you rent, you lose some wealth and you get none of that back, no appreciation uh, and it just costs you that amount of wealth. Now granted, I, you may be paying $26.50 in rent, but if you're single and house hacking is like something that you think you might want to do, maybe you're not paying that much in rent uh, or maybe you're house hacking and you want to do it as a family. That's perfectly fine. I'm just using this same example from the owning versus renting slides, but the ratios are what matter and the difference is what matters. So, so I'll stick with this example. And if you buy instead of renting, You've got some expenses, taxes, insurance, you've got some interest, those go out the door. Then you pay your principal, but that you get back because paying principal doesn't really cost you anything. You still have to write the check, but that part that, that is uh, principal in the mortgage, that goes against the principal on the loan and it doesn't change your wealth at all. So the actual payment, although it's 3140, the actual cost is only 2667 because the part that went to principal didn't affect your wealth. And if we get appreciation on that property, again, this is an imaginary half a percent appreciation per month. And I, doesn't, I know it doesn't happen like that all the time, but if you average it out, it does on a $500,000 property, you get a bunch of appreciation. So your wealth changes by only $167, even though you spent $3,140. And so you are ahead of where you would have been had you rented by $2,483. Even though your payment is bigger, your wealth only diminishes by $167 instead of $2,650 in this example. So you are at an advantage by owning of $2,400, 20, almost $2,500 in just one month in the worst month because the first mortgage payment is the one that has the most interest in it. It diminishes over time. So this is how that looks over time. Again, this graph and the explanations are in the other video about owning versus renting, but the differences are massive and they get pretty big pretty quickly. In just five years, the difference in owning versus renting a similar property is 184, 185,000. It goes up to almost half a million in just 10 years. The difference after 20 years is one and a half million. And the difference after 30 years is $3.4 million. It's massive. So how does this relate to house hacking? Let's go back to this example. So we just saw this. Right? This is the same thing we just looked at. Now you have one more component. You have a $2,000. So let's say this is a house and you found two roommates that'll pay you a thousand bucks. Again, this is just the concept that we're after here, but we can do analyses on different amounts anytime we need to. But any incoming rent that boosts you above the cost of what it, what it costs you to have the house. So even though your actual cost in a given month is $667, because it was $26.67 before, but you got $2,000 a month um, to diminish that. And you're still getting the appreciation. I'm not going to add that again because I already accounted for that here. But now, instead of it costing you $167 to live there that month, you actually are wealthier by $1,833 because you're house hacking. Now you spent $3,140, but some of that was principal, which didn't change your wealth. You offset that by $2,000 in incoming rent and you offset it by $2,500 of appreciation that you got that month. So you are wealthier by $1,833 in the first and worst month. Because again, the first mortgage payment is the one that has the most interest in it. So now the ownership advantage between owning and renting, if you're house hacking, is $4,483 a month. That's over $50,000 a year. It just doesn't make sense to rent if you're going to be in a specific spot longer than a few years or even a couple of years, right? It's just, it's insane to rent if you could possibly figure out a way to afford to buy. So my name is Brady Mullen with the Kevin Green team at Cross Country Mortgage, and we team up with investment-minded realtors every day to help people apply these concepts. Imagine owning tangible investments that for ages have produced great returns 
increasing income, a reliable hedge for inflation, and meaningful tax benefits. Connect with your realtor today to begin building wealth in real estate. Thanks for watching.